What's up everyone, welcome back to the latest channel. My name is Mickey. In today's video, I'm gonna cover your all-inclusive guide to transfer orders. We're gonna cover what is a transfer order, then we're gonna cover how does a transfer order work, then how a transfer order is created, and last but not least, how to receive a transfer order. Anyways, let's get right into it. So a transfer order is a transaction that literally transfers product from one warehouse to the other. Let's say for example, you've got two warehouses, one in Orlando and one in Miami. Now, for one reason or another, the warehouse in Orlando doesn't have enough bananas to fulfill orders. Well, the warehouse in Orlando can place a transfer order. A transfer order requests five bananas, for example, from the Miami warehouse to be shipped up to Orlando so that Orlando can fulfill those orders. So let's get into the example. The order for the five bananas goes to Miami. That order is printed. So somebody in the warehouse prints out that transfer order, whether it be out of an ERP system or if you have a WMS, like the lace up system, it'll show up in your scanner and you're gonna go to the bin locations and find those five bananas. You're gonna take those five bananas and simply put, you put them on a cart, you'll pack them and eventually you'll load them onto a truck or through a carrier, you will ship them. Now, once those five bananas are marked as shipped in your warehouse, they're gonna exit the Miami inventory and they're gonna go in an in-transit bin. An in-transit bin holds all of your transfer orders after they've been shipped from the source warehouse, but before they've been received by the destination warehouse. Now, once the destination warehouse actually receives a transfer order, that is when the product will be alleviated from the bin, the in-transit bin, and uh, officially received into the Orlando warehouse. So at this juncture, a transfer order, for those of you that don't get it, is an order that moves product from one location to the other. So now that you know what a transfer order is, let's talk about how a transfer order is actually created. Well, there's two ways that I've seen in my experience that a transfer order is actually created. The first way is the manual way. That is, the warehouse in Miami knows that it needs product, right? So it contacts the warehouse in Orlando and says, hey, Johnny, can you send me uh, 10 bananas? And Johnny goes ahead, registers that transfer order, picks, packs, and ships it, and then eventually Mickey down in Miami will receive those 10 bananas. That's what we call a manual transfer order creation process. Literally, phone call, text message, email, all of those vias, in my experience, it's not very efficient because it's not backed up by any system. It's somebody, um, you know, thinking or having an opinion about what inventory is needed without truly knowing what inventory is where and what inventory is committed to what order. That's wherein the second approach comes in, which is an automated transfer order that's generated when a warehouse falls beneath a, set, a certain threshold of available product and then the system automatically understands what's in the second warehouse, what orders are committing inventory from that second warehouse, and what product in that second warehouse is not committed to anything. Well, that's product that is available to be transferred from warehouse number two to warehouse number one. So isn't that crazy? A system will know exactly what you need to pull from one warehouse to the other, initiate the transfer order automatically, have the Orlando warehouse pick it and send it to Miami automatically so that product is picked, packed and shipped for your customers in a timely and efficient manner. So now that you know that transfer orders can either be created manually or by a system, the next thing that we wanna discuss is how is a transfer order received? Well, that may seem um, very straightforward and common sense, but the bottom line is you wanna receive a transfer order exactly as you receive a purchase order from your vendors. Now, what does that mean? When you receive the transfer order from the other warehouse, you're gonna treat that transfer order just like a PO. You wanna go line by line by line. You wanna count the contents of what was sent. You wanna notate anything that was short, anything that was damaged, and then you wanna cross out or add anything that was either not there in the first place or anything that was sent to you on accident. Now the reason why you wanna do this is because you then wanna take that transfer order with those changes and record it into your system. Now honestly, 
if you have a system like a system that has mobile handheld units in the warehouse now, i'm not shouting out the lace-up system but if it's the lace-up system so be it you're going to have a gun when you're receiving that transfer order that gun is going to tell you exactly what warehouse number two sent you and you'll be able to make adjustments to what was sent incorrectly increase things that were sent on accident decrease things that were sent or that were not sent that were supposed to be sent and ultimately when you're done you'll be able to print a set of labels adhere those labels to the pallets that you're receiving for what you received and check those pallets in to a corresponding bin location at the end of the day, a transfer order receipt is the same thing as an item receipt for a PO. The only difference is that you're receiving from one of your own warehouses instead of a warehouse um, of a vendor. So now that you know what a transfer order is, how to create it, how they're generated, and lastly, how to receive it, now you know exactly how to manage these transactions should they arise in the future. And if you don't have a system to create and execute these transfer orders, well, you know, you're going to need a WMS. Go to the link down below. Uh, check ours out. Honestly, I'm open to you getting any WMS in the world, but I hope that this helped you, helped your business. And anyways, I hope that you have an amazing day. Oh, go down below. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care.